hey guys welcome back to my channel on today's video we're gonna be doing some crafting so what we're gonna do is we're gonna craft up a pocket letter but a 12 by 12 Becky Higgins pocket sleeve and this video is going to be in collaboration with Araceli from the paper treasury and I'm sure you guys know her but I'll have all the links down below so you guys can go check her out. She's going to be doing a pocket letter as well using the same paper pad. It was just a fun idea. And then what we're going to do is we're going to swap it out with each other. So that's fun. And yeah, so we decided just to create a pocket letter for you guys on camera. And um, yeah, that's what we're doing. And if you guys haven't seen this flyaway paper pad, it's beautiful. It's a must-have. It's just very vintagey feel super pretty I'm sure you guys have seen it and you get a decent amount also of like little ephemeral pieces that's what I did I cut up a bunch of pieces to use in my pocket letter so yeah let's get on with the video I've kind of prepared myself for it so this is the sleeve that I'm gonna be using I've already put my little trim on it and it's basically the two larger ones, the four larger ones, and then four smaller ones in the middle. So the four by sixes, I think it is. And then these are the, I think two by threes or three by fours, three by fours. So this is my sleeve. I wanna make sure that I am in frame with you guys, okay? And I've already cut up my cards as well. This is what my cards look like. What I did was ink them on the edges with some pink ink. Just because I feel like it gives the cards a little bit more, I don't know, a little something extra. I think it looks pretty. And once it's on the sleeve, it looks even better. So we're going to start off with our first card right here. And let's see what we're going to use. I think I'm gonna put this cute. I love using doilies, you guys. It just makes everything look so much prettier. I'm gonna be using also, let me move away the sleeve because I don't wanna mess it up with my glue. So I'm gonna put a little bit of hot glue right there. Just because it works faster. You guys know that I love me some hot glue. I was thinking maybe I've already like pre-planned the video just to make it a smoother process let me get my I've been having such a hard time with my um, ATG gun lately. I don't know what's wrong with it. I'm gonna put that there. So if any of you guys have this paper pad, you can either recreate mine or recreate Ara's. That'll be fun. This was her idea and I think it's it's a good idea. It's cute. So let's see what I want to put over here. Sorry if you hear planes flying. But it's always when I'm filming, people want to be doing stuff. Does that happen to everybody that films? Oh, that looks cute. Doesn't that look pretty? Can you guys see? Yeah, you guys can see. All right, so let's just put that down. I love the colors in this paper pad. It's so me.
And then I also found a bunch of these little words with like traveling stuff in my in my stash and it fits perfect. It's like meant to me, meant to be for me to do a pocket letter. think isn't it cute okay so that's our first card now we're gonna work on our second card which looks like this I hope that you guys are focused to be able to see okay for this one I picked out this cute little vintage picture and I thought it would be cute if we did like a photo thingy and it says hit the road so I'm gonna put this down here and put this one down here and then I have this cute little cab being that it says hit the road I thought it would be cute to put the little a little car right there how cute is that and I had I don't know what I did with it but I did have and then I have a little word sticker that says fun that'll go right there and then I'll just go back and put Maybe like enamel bobs or something. I got a little heart that I want to put here. Oh. There you go. We got our second card. Cute. I had um, a butterfly for here, but I don't know where it went. It disappeared on me. But that's okay. We'll leave it like that. And then we're going to work on our four little cards this is the order that I want them in so we're gonna work on them that way these are I have them fairly simple so I wanted to put let's put the sleeve in here first so I can This one because this one I'm putting it on the outside and then this one I just want to put two little flowers sometimes you have to be careful with all the patterns when you have too many patterns you don't want to like jam pack and overwhelm your pocket letter even though sometimes I like like really full pocket letters I don't want to do that with this one so we're gonna put that one right there look how good that's looking you guys and then what I wanted to do here is on the outside of the pocket letter I wanted to I think I put this the wrong way. On the outside, I wanted to put the word explore. Because it's kind of like a traveling thing. I'm going to put the word explore right there. And then I'm going to put this little date sticker right here. 
which I'll fill out in the end. So we'll put that little date sticker right there. And look how cute that's looking. I love it. This was such a good idea, girl. And then I have this little globe, which I'm going to be adding to this card. I'm going to put it right here. Nothing crazy. And then I have this little word sticker that says, Explore New Places. in and we're almost getting there the last card I just want a simple little butterfly on it just because it has all the little butterflies in the back I thought that would look cute Should put this little butterfly on it here see how cute that looks and now we're going to work on our last two cards which are these and then for this one I want to do a cluster so I have some I want to do a, a little cluster of papers I'm going to put this one down first. And then I'm going to put this one down here. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. And I'm not off frame. And then I want to put this map. Like right here. I have like a little frame that I found in my stash and I think it's gonna go great. Isn't that pretty? And I don't like showing the, the word right there, that little word sticking out that I have. So we're going to put a little speech bubble right here. And then I have two little word thingies here. And we're going to put here, there, and everywhere. Right up here. And then a lifetime of memories is going to go right on the bottom. And then I just wanted to put a cute little butterfly right here in the back just because I have a bunch of butterflies on all of them. But how cute is that? Didn't it make it all cute, you guys? And then our last card is this yellow one. And what I want to do is kind of like a picture effect. So basically, I want to have like the picture right here. And then like the frame right there. So we're going to put the picture down. And then we're going to put the frame down. Almost like at a slant. And then just some I want to put like a cute little butterfly right there that'll be cute and then we're just gonna like layer some tickets 
right here and possibly yeah, in the back. And there you go. Doesn't that look good? I love the way it turned out. But yeah, you guys, that is my pocket letter using the Fly Me Away paper pad. I think it turned out great. This is what the pockets look like. Let me see if I can make sure that you guys are focused. I think you are. There's that pocket. There's those. I think it's amazing. But yeah, you guys, that's my video. You guys definitely go check out the Paper Treasuries video doing her pocket letter. I can't wait to see what she came up with. I'll have all the links down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.